A bittersweet outcome at the conclusion of a murder trial involving a fugitive who has been found guilty of murder in absentia. The case against 36-year-old Hildebrandt Codd has come to an end, despite the Belize Police Department being no closer to capturing this convicted killer. I'm satisfied, I'm happy, I'm glad. I can't express my feeling. I'm so happy that they had found him, convict him. But in a point, I am still sad because he is not here. He is not found, and that's the day I'm waiting for now. On December 5th, Cod was brought down to Belize City from the Hatteville prison. He was scheduled to appear before the High Court to learn his fate after being accused of the gruesome murder of Densmore Bowman in 2019. Somehow, Cod and an accomplice absconded by climbing out of a window inside the jury room of courtroom number three. We are still doing our best um, to capture Mr. Card. We are still working with the, the, um, the family of the victim um, to see if they have information. And when they do, they will pass it to us. We will normally check it out and um, see where we go from there. The public have also provided information to us. We do believe he's still in the country. And uh, again, I want to assure the Belizean people that we are doing all we can to find him and anyone who may have information um, pertinent to his whereabouts, we ask that you uh, please feel free to contact the nearest police station or call the 922 number, which is the um, Crime Stoppers number. While Jesse Mejia was captured on the same day, Card remains at large. I had blamed our police department, which after I make big thoughts, I said I shouldn't have done that because it could have happened to with anyone. I was sad. I cried because I thought, I said, no, my son, mur a murderer, will go like that and I won't get anything to satisfy because of his release or his escape. And, well, today, today now, I take back that I blame the, the police department. For Bowman's family, the decision handed down this morning by Justice Ricardo Neil Sancroft was long awaited. The judgment of the High Court is poignant because the felon, notwithstanding all efforts being made to have him convicted, is nowhere to be found. I was expecting a guilty verdict, so to, you're never sure until you hear it from the, the, the mouth of the person that needs to say it. So when I heard that guilty, it's a resounding song. In my mind, I think that will stay with me for quite a while. Um, it's not going to bring back my brother for certain, but it does bring some relief for us because, as you know, we, we have been fighting this for years now. I think today, the 21st, was the day that they actually caught him. When he murdered my brother, he was, he was hiding out. They, again, he was hiding out. They couldn't find him, and I think... If I'm not mistaken, I will have to check the, um, the record. I think today was the day that they found him in a range walk, and then he was arraigned for his murder on the 2nd of January. Look back four years now, yes, he, he, you know, he escaped, and his verdict is today. He's not here. Sentencing for Hildebrandt Codd has been set for January 12, 2024. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.